Today we're here to uh, take you through a quick uh, tutorial on how to, uh, how to change a prop on a mercury outboard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, mercury aluminum prop and we're going to change that out to a, uh, a, a vengeance stainless steel prop. Basically what, that, what that's going to do is it's going to give the boat a little bit extra performance, a little bit better durability, and uh, the stainless steel is going to also give a, a little bit better corrosion resistance in the salt water. So overall, a much better prop uh, for this particular boat than the, uh, than the Black Max, which is a great all-around prop, but not really so good for salt water. So first thing I'm going to do, take my, my uh, trusty socket with a 1 and 1 uh, socket on it, 2 by 4. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert that between the propeller and this is the uh, ventilation plate or the cavitation plate. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to hold the propeller in place while I'm um, loosening the nut to take the prop off. So I'm going to slide my socket right over that inch and one sixteenth nut. And as you can see here, I'm going to need to hold my, my block in place until the uh, propeller is, creates a wedge to um, hold that. And we'll start working that off. As you can see, if I didn't have this block, the propeller would just be turning. Some people try to hold them with their hands. It's not really a good idea. I wouldn't recommend that. So once I remove the nut, it's pretty simple. The whole assembly just slides right off. The, on the inside of the prop, there's a couple pieces. This is called the aft adapter. That's what transfers the torque from the drive shaft to the prop. Then inside the propeller, this is a, uh, a Delrin sleeve. I'll take all these pieces apart and show you then how we, how we need to put them back together. I get my new propeller. I'm going to take the uh, Delrin sleeve. I'm going to insert that in the back of the prop, like so. And from there, I'm going to take my, uh, take my um, adapter and slide that in. Now the whole assembly is ready to go on the shaft. I didn't touch the thrust washer. I can take that off just to show you that piece. There's actually a little taper in here um, that fits right on the taper on the shaft. Usually this ridge part should be facing outward. I don't need to take that off today to change the prop. That can just stay, uh, stay right in place. Now I slide the entire assembly right on. And that just fits right on in place like that. You already tell that looks a lot better on this uh, nice saltwater boat to have a nice stainless prop on there. Also, too, in many of the Mercury hub kits, um, there's also a tab washer that can fit between this nut and the aft adapter. What you do is you fold some of those tabs uh, just into one of those slots there so it locks in place. So I just take the back of my wrench, knock one of those little tabs in place, and that's going to... Um, just give the nut a little bit of extra stability, make sure that doesn't come off. Take my trusty prop block. And now to put this uh, back on, I brought myself a torque wrench today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to torque that nut down to uh, 55 pounds is the specification there. And if you don't have a, a torque wrench, that's okay, but you want to make sure 55 pounds is pretty snug, as you saw when I was trying to, um, trying to take that prop off. So, just going to be working that there. My block again, holding the prop in place versus the cavitation plate. Now I'm just going to get those last few pounds on there. Get it nice and tight. This particular wrench just gives me a click to let me know I'm at 55 pounds. Well, I like to say, if we've answered the question for all time, how many guys does it take to, uh, how many marketing guys does it take to change a prop? The answer is one. And if I can do it, you can do it too.